Okay, Bozak, we'll see you back at the shop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good luck, man. <laughs> we got stuck with this unit after Daryl didn't bid on it. Way to go, Jared. Oh my God, there's so many golf clubs. Whoa, 50 bucks in golf clubs. Whoa! Whoa. That was like a bowling ball. Jeez. That was crazy. Oh, this is Pete's. You want to bowl it? Oh my God. Are you going to bowl right now? Yeah, right. Told you, so watch your feet. Oh my God. Wait. Are you okay? Yes. Okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you want to hug it out? What'd you do? <laughs> you got a strike? You got, got a strike? <laughs> Why'd you stand on that chair? You should have stood behind something like a oh berry. Oh, my God. <laughs> you stood in front on a chair. All right. I'll agree with there's no bowling for a while, but you got to admit, if that was a pen, gone. Dead so day. you were aiming? No, I was not aiming. I just got lucky. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I pull a strike and I'm still in the gutter. Randy, look at this. What is this? What's that? Wait. I don't know. Oh, oh this is... gross. Are they dental yeah, trays? Yeah, they're, no, they're just individual teeth. Those are so weird. That's creepy. Do you think those are worth any money? I don't have any idea, but we'll get these checked out. Mm -hmm. Have somebody look at our teeth. The dentist, perhaps? Yeah. All right, Bozek, why don't you get the rest of the stuff, man, and get it back to the shop? Let's go get an x-ray. Brandy and I are at OC Dental Academy to get our teeth looked at, the ones we found. Let me get that for you. Thank you. Walk over you. After the bowling incident, I got a little kiss to do. Dr. Fife. Oh, that's a good hand. Thank you. Oh, no, what happened? Bowling accident. Bowling accident. Yeah. That's what we're calling she's a, it. She's better as a bowler than a pin. Oh, <laughs> I am, too. Yeah. Why don't you guys come on back? All right. This is Connie Forster. She's the founder of OC Dental Academy. So show me what you've got yeah, here. Yeah, so we bought a storage unit and found <laughs> this thing, like a Rolodex of teeth. A Rolodex oh, of teeth. It's like That's a file cabinet of teeth. These are old vintage denture teeth is what these are. Basically what they would do with these is take these old teeth and they would just mount them with wax and that's how they'd make dentures. Those are yeah, really pretty, yellow. Those they seem like it, but maybe if you held them up to your teeth, they wouldn't be that yellow. Yeah, you ran the other. See how much darker it was? <laughs> Match. Well, <laughs> she got the Hollywood white when she got her no, fakies. You have yeah. a good white, yeah. So when do you think this is from? So I'm thinking since the material that it's made out was around the Depression time, so I'm thinking late 20s, early 30s. Okay. It's called Bakelite, wow. and it was a popular material that they made things out of. It was like a new discovery. They're pretty old, so I would assume they're worth a lot, right? It's nice that there's a complete set, which I was actually kind of surprised about, but I would probably value it probably around $300. 300 bucks? How many teeth are in here? Probably 100 teeth or so. I might get more than that just putting these under my pillow. <laughs> what do I, my kids get like five bucks a tooth right now. Oh. <laughs> tooth fairy's a lot more generous. Just start lining up all the boxes on both sides here, guys, like we normally do. It's already 50 bucks right there on the bike. Everybody was a little bit scared about everything and being in bags, but any professional would know they just ran out of boxes and went and got bags. We have a little commercial freezer. That's probably worth 100 bucks. And then you have the chest, the dresser, the mirror. You have a headboard, two nightstands. That's probably 400 bucks for the bedroom set. So this is obviously the china cabinet, but I don't see a table and chairs to match. So this is probably about 150 bucks. And I got this panel right here. This is a, like a four panel screen. Probably worth a hundred bucks, you know. So that's basically all the furniture. Now I get to go into the boxes and find all the profit. Uh-oh, what the hell is that? Damn. Hey, Steve, you got any idea what these things are? What do you think? They're for breastfeeding. For breastfeeding? Or it could be a prosthetic for a mold. I think anything that might have to do with boobs, we have to investigate a little farther. Hey, Steve, up here. OK, look at that. We got the whole boob shop. This is definitely the breast unit I bought in here. Well, I guess this is it, right here by the elevator. I'm here to see double board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Kat Begovich. I'm calling it the Breast Quest. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. Are you Dr. Kat? I am. You must be Dave. Wow, those are some 
interesting looking contraptions. Why don't we go into the exam room? We'll take a look together. Okay. Follow me. Gladly. Okay, wow, I haven't seen these for a very long time. Do you know what these are? I have no idea, but I think they're related to something to do with women's breasts. <laughs> That's a very good guess. Maybe it's just because they're kind of like cone shaped. Well, you definitely have the right qualifications to tell me about them. <laughs> Thank you. She's into me. Okay, so let me tell you what these are. They marketed these as an alternative to breast augmentation. They're used to grow breasts. So you actually attach them to your breast. Okay. And then there's, where's the vest? I didn't know it came with a vest. There's a vest that actually goes over them to hold them in place. Can you put a, put a bra over the top of them? I mean, in theory, I guess you could. Mm -hmm. It's just that you have the battery. That's why the vest has a pocket for the battery. Oh, OK. I mean, did you test it? Does it work? I really don't have any idea how it works. OK, well, I guess we can test. Their suction. Uh -huh. So they work. I'm not sure what you're going to do with these. You're going to try to sell these? Are they expensive? I mean, people still sell them a lot online. And women, you'll be surprised what women will do for a pair of nice breasts. You'd be surprised what a man would do. Retail something new like this, you could probably get $900. But as is used, and I mean, there's no vest, I would say at the most, maybe $400. 400 bucks? Maybe I'll figure out a way to keep them and have some fun with them. Okay, you can do whatever you want behind closed doors. Here you go. Thank you, doctor, <laughs> for your time. You're welcome. I don't know, man. It looks like a pretty good room. I took a gamble and paid $1,150 for this locker. Now it's time to see if it pays off. This is what made me go on this locker right here. What's that? These two blue cases. When I saw those two blue boxes, I thought it could have some Princess House crystal or high-end cookware. There's a whole lot of nada on this one. Yeah, not what I thought it was, just basic crap. It all can't be good. I'm not out of this yet. Son of a bitch, you know what that is? That's a clock. Looks like the eyes move on it. Looks like he's looking at you right now. <laughs> Probably is. I don't know if I would have done that. What if it's got some strange voodoo on it? I fear nobody or nothing. That was cool. I'm interested to go see what that's going to be. Brendan and I are taking this skull clock over to TikTok Tony's. He buys and sells antique clocks, so I'm going to find out exactly what this clock is worth. Never seen that one. It's a... You see, very few of them around. Oswald was a company that made these from about 1930 to about 1950, and they're called rotating eye clocks. The eyes actually move around clockwise. The left one moves around to tell the hour, and you see these 12 marks around okay. here. And the right one moves around to tell the minute. And the skull clock was the rarest of all the Oswald clocks. Nice. And not only that, the early ones, 1930, 1940, are wooden constructions. The wooden ones are a lot more valuable. I'm hearing rare. I'm hearing valuable, and now I'm starting to see dollar signs. If it was an original Oswald, this could sell for 2,000 plus. I love it. However. However case, what? The casing is not original. It's been made separately. You might be lucky to find $150 for me. At 150 bucks, I can afford to use that for target practice at the range. You know, you can't win them all. Thanks again, sir. I appreciate all your time. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world! <laughs>